My name is Jasmine Lee. I'm the Managing Director of Dean Street Studios. My name is Suzanne Lee Barnes and I'm a Director of Dean Street Studios. And um, Jazz and I are mother and daughter, um, family business. Well, I started in the music industry when I was 17 and Jazz was literally born in a studio. <laughs> My most memorable experience from being in here is the transformation that we made when we came in and this transformation now, this Dolby Atmos transformation, it's a whole new era for us. I've, I've got so many more memorable experiences that I can't digress on camera, yeah, <laughs> obviously. But it is, it's been watching this, this industry grow, um, the recording industry within this building here. You know, when we first started here, watching a diary very sparsely fill up with a few little new bands and stuff and then obviously getting the bigger and bigger clients and working with the major labels and just seeing that growth was just super exciting because obviously you know we're a family business but this is all self-funded yeah. we we have an ethos as well about about how we are with artists because yeah. um you know um, me my ex-husband have having been a, a rock artist, a very successful band in America, and Jasmine having that as a father. We understand both sides. We understand how artists need to feel. So um, our ethos has always been a, a very clear one, and that's what we've established down here at mm -hmm. Dean Street. My first visit into the studio when the Atmos room was up and running, I heard Elton John, Rocket Man, and I just could not believe it I, I think it brought tears to my eyes it was just like wow okay this is what it's all about it's limitless yeah let me just put it that way <laughs> I think across every genre of music I'm serious I think I don't think there's any genre of music that won't benefit from this process you just absolutely don't get clarity on vocal um recording like you do in Dolby Atmos you don't get clarity on orchestra swells you don't get clarity on you know You've got multiple guitar parts going on in most tracks. Now, in, in listening in stereo, you wouldn't necessarily be able to determine the diff different classification between those different guitar parts until you listen to yes. it in Atmos. Yeah. Everything sounds better in Dolby Atmos. 